Hey, it's Tanya and I'm once again working in my art journal and this time I'm using a jelly roll plate. Is it a jelly roll plate or is it just a jelly plate? I don't know, but it's new to me and yeah, I've been playing with it and I was watching some YouTube videos and somebody was using their scribble sticks or their art crowns on it and I thought that sounded like a fun plan. So this is what I'm doing now. Those are... The are crayons, I think they are Lyra or Lyra or something, I forget which, but uh, they're very nice and they're very similar to Jane Davenport's scribble sticks and Dina Wakeley's, no, I got it wrong, didn't I? Dina Wakeley's scribble sticks and Jane Davenport's aqua crayons, there we go, right. So yeah, I um, it, it looks like a terrible mess at the moment and it looks like a terrible mess for most of the video actually, because it was and then it, it it does turn out nicely in the end. I'm actually really pleased with how it turned out. But uh, it goes through a metamorphosis. So watch me spray it and do everything to it. That is a stencil from a local manufacturer. It's actually a really pretty one. And I'm still using all my homemade mists because I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I know I can make more, but I, I don't have any issues about using it and spraying like mud because yeah it's not precious there we go some of our supplies we feel are a bit precious so we don't use them to their maximum these are not precious uh, I've said precious like so many times now and yeah still looking like a big hot mess and we are still spraying gay abandon and rolling the mopping and the rolling rolling and mopping I actually quite like the rolling <laughs> there's a certain certain uh, sense of uh, yeah happiness there and yes that is my stamp that I rediscovered and I like to stamp it on just about anything I'm always very nervous about using black I know lots of people do it and yes now we're going to oh I actually enjoyed doing this although the bottle was really sticky and dirty so we had to clean it first before but yeah I spray a whole bunch of that Heidi Swap Gold Le on and it looks so pretty it doesn't look pretty now but uh, it, it gives such a shine that when you tilt the page ah oh, it's just gold heaven and I'm being very good look at me I am doing the whole wiping the stuff off waste not one night idea and this is a Dean Wakeley stencil and that is distress oxide I'm using a little sponge to sponge it on and it's still yeah it's a kind of kind of coming together and yeah as I said I'm very nervous about black that's um, acrylic liquid ink yeah, and I just got a, a paintbrush and splatted it on and then off camera I do the most awful hideous thing to it but uh, in the end it comes out all right. I went around and uh, pardon the cat, yes I've got a leopard and a cat in here. Do you see I went around, I got black distress ink and I went around the the outside thinking it would make it look quite good and then it looked horrible so I added some white paint and that made it look even worse and then I sprayed on it and oh dear it was a disaster but anyway as I say it comes out all right in the end because I I put all the stuff on and I'm really quite pleased with it that is one of my photographs we very often go on safari we love doing it and I take lots of photographs and yes I was so chuffed with this photograph of this leopard it was just amazing and I wasn't too sure what to do with this page and then I was looking for something and happened upon the fact that I had printed this out on white cardstock oh ages and ages ago and I thought okay well what the hell let's put that on and I truly do and then I went over with the black sharpie and I was really quite chuffed with that as well and I was thinking wow Tanya you really you really got it together this time you pulled it back from the brink of disaster <laughs> get very melodramatic when I do these things sometimes so yeah I just got a white jelly roll pen there and I'm just adding in some some uh, of his whiskers and the like and yeah the matte medium on that because obviously it's printed on my desk jet printer it kind of went a bit murky so I was very careful with it but uh, you don't really notice it and I'm still going through all of these letter stickers to use them up I think I might move on from them soon because I've used them in about seven or eight of these spreads and I'm getting a bit bored with them now and I'm running out of the common letters so yes I go with my spirit animal Actually, the Black Panther is my spirit animal, but a leopard is close enough. And I, I've only seen Black Panthers in zoos, so I can't really, you know, 
lay claim to one of those. So yeah, there we go. And I'm wondering where to put the animal bit. And I mean, that's really a disaster. We don't want that. And I try it on top of his head, but that makes no sense because yeah, I would read animal first before my spirit. Yeah, I'm a little, little, yeah. Uh, thingy about that so yeah I like it there and then I went through this is that magazine I keep talking about and I spotted her and at first I thought mm, I wonder if I should but she looks so innocent and fey I actually love the word fey that I thought yeah there we go we've got this you know I love it when it comes together like this we've got this this very innocent sweet looking woman in in that uh, yeah pose and then there's her spirit animal. <laughs> I thought it was so much fun. So yeah, I enjoyed that. And then I am going to smear stuff on her, make sure she's all stuck down. And then I, oh, these are old Amy Tan little puffy stickers and they are giraffes. So of course they go with the, with the animal theme. And uh, yeah, if you are interested in, in any of my safari ones, I have on my YouTube channel, I have a bunch of layouts I've made with my animals and traveler's notebook spreads and the like. They're all there. And we're actually going again this year. I'm super excited. We're going to go at the end of the year. So that's going to be fun. Hopefully we see all the great, great animals again. And I am merely dotting around some enamel dots. And now I'm going to do a terribly wonky border all the way around. Oh, you see, I go all squirrely. Oh dear, I cannot do a straight line. But uh, it's just just what happens. And yeah, I wanted a bit more of those gold and then I got it on his eye and I thought that was a brilliant move too. So I was full of brilliant things this time. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll chat again soon. Bye bye.